What's up everybody? It's Brian from the Business Reef Tank channel. Today, I have an important question to ask you. How do you know that your temperature probe is accurate? I have five different temperature probes on my system. I have a probe in the 180 gallon reef. I have a probe in the sump. I have a probe in the bubble tip anemone tank. I have a probe in my fish quarantine tank. And I also have a probe in my water mixing station. So that's five probes on an apex system. And even if you don't have an apex system, this is an important question. How do you know that your temperature probe is correct? Well, today I wanna to talk a little bit about temperature and how I make sure that all of my probes are calibrated and correct. So let's talk about temperature in a reef tank. Now, temperature is a critical parameter. It's not something that needs to be overlooked. It determines coral growth, it determines fish growth. It determines bacterial growth in your reef, which gives you your filtration. It also has to do with the microscopic organism growth in your reef as well, which basically adds to the food chain. Now, your typical range in a reef tank, you'll hear all kinds of answers for this, but in my personal opinion, I think it should be anywhere from 76 degrees to about 80 degrees. And more important would be the range that you keep it at and that you keep it at a constant range. You don't want the range to be high one day and low the next day. Once again, in this reef keeping hobby, you have to stay consistent. So I believe in staying consistent with a range. So what's the differences between keeping a tank cooler and keeping a tank hotter? Well, if you keep a tank cooler, things are going to go a little bit more slower. Uh, your organisms will grow slower. Your corals will probably grow a little slower. Your bacteria population will grow slower. Now, if you keep it warmer, of course, the opposite will happen. If you keep it warmer, that bacteria will grow faster. Your corals should grow faster. But the problem between keeping it hotter or colder is if problems happen, things may happen a little too quick for you to recover from. So. Personally, I like to keep my tank around an average of around 78 degrees. So my range is about a temperature or so between, you know, 77 and, and 78. So that's what I do in my tank. Not necessarily saying that you have to make your temperature that, but that's what I do in my tank. So what do I do in order to maintain accurate temperatures in my reef? I use the HANA Check Temp 1 calibration thermometer. So what exactly is the check temp one? This is a calibration thermometer that is accurate to half a degree. It is IP65 water resistant, so you don't have to really worry about it uh, around your reef tank. It is NIST certified, which this is what makes this a calibration thermometer versus a thermometer that you would just pick up at any of the big box pet stores. It displays both in Fahrenheit and Celsius. It has a stainless steel probe, so you don't really have to worry about this rusting in your reef tank, but you do not want to keep the probe in the tank. You want to use the probe and then take the probe out. It has a three foot cable, so you can be three feet away from the tank that you're trying to measure the temperature of. So with any controller system you use, you want to make sure that you calibrate your temperature probe. All probes will need calibration eventually. Your pH probe needs calibration, your salinity probe needs calibration, and as I've been saying, your temperature probe on your controller also needs calibration. So this is how I calibrate my temperature probe in Fusion. What you want to do is you want to hit the gear icon that is on the temperature tile. Once you click that, you're going to get a window that in the lower right hand corner is going to say calibration. Click that calibration button. Once you click that, you're going to get another window that pops up. In order to start the calibration, click Calibrate. Once you click Calibrate, you want to go ahead and use the HANA Check Temp 1 in order to find out what the temperature of your reef is. Go ahead, stick the probe into the tank and wait a little bit. You want to wait for the number to settle.
Once that number settles, you're gonna to wanna to put the number that's on the HANA check temp one into the little box that says temperature in fusion. Go ahead and click next. And then after you click next, click done, and that completes the calibration for your temperature probe. So that's it with temperature in your reef and how to calibrate your temperature probe. Now, once again, the important thing is to find a range and stick with it. Once again, you have to be consistent with reef keeping. That is the name of this game. Well, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you calibrate your temperature probe in your system. As always, YouTube, happy reefing. Take care.